In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid the keyboard overlapping issue in Jetpack Compose. As you can see, we have two text fields. When I try to type the email in here, as you can see, the keyboard just overlaps the other text field and the button here. I'm going to show you a very simple approach to solve this issue. First of all, let me show you the design real quick. As you can see, if you want to get this one, you'll find the link to my repository. You can download that from there. And as you can see, we have a column. We have the logo here, this one. We have a spacer between the logo and the two text fields. Then we have two text fields. After that, we have the button. Nothing interesting. And of course, you can apply the approach that I'm going to show you on your own design. Now, the first thing we want to do is to go to the project, go to the manifest file. And here we want to allow Android system to resize our activity. For that, there is something called Win to soft input. We can make this adjust resize. Now, if we launch the app, let's try to type the email. As you can see, we were able to show the password text field and the button here above the keyboard. Now, this is not enough because let me actually give you the following scenario. Let's go back to the design here. Let's actually say you have some content above this logo. Let's actually put some content and I'm just going to put a box. So a box and give this a modifier and let's give this height of 100 dB. And for the width, we can make this fill max width. And we can also give this a background color just to see how much does it take from the screen. Now I'm going to launch the app and see if we get the issue or not. Okay, as you can see, this is the green box. You can imagine this box, any other content like a text or so. Now let's try to type an email. As you can see, the problem is still there. Now this happens because Android system cannot decide what a part should be hidden like this box is a content and the Android system cannot hide that content. What we can do to solve this now is to make this whole screen scrollable and whenever we show the keyboard, we, we simply scroll to the bottom of the screen. Now to achieve that, we want a listener on the IME, which is the keyboard. And for that, I found this composable or this uh, state, remember state, uh, function on the internet on Stack Overflow. So make sure to get this one from my repository. So we basically return the state of our keyboard. So here we have the state of the keyboard. Uh, initially we make it false, which means it's not shown. And then we have a disposable effect here because we are subscribing to a listener here. And on dispose, we make sure to remove that listener. So what we basically do in here is just to have a listener on the keyboard. And whenever the keyboard state changes, we basically update this state and return it as a composite state. Okay, now we can go back to the screen design and we can simply get the IME listener. We can say val IME state, remember IME state. And then we also want to have the scroll state because as I said, we want to make the column here scrollable. So val scroll state, remember scroll state. And now in the column modifier, we can add vertical scroll and we can just pass that state. Now in here, we want to have a launch effect, so we can say a launch effect, and we want to trigger this launch effect whenever the IME state changes. So IME state dot value, and inside this we're gonna just scroll to the down or to the bottom of this column. So we can say if IME state dot value. If that's true, then we can say scroll state dot scroll to. Then we want to get the maximum value like that. Now if we try to relaunch the app we will be able just to solve that problem and the keyboard won't just overlaps these two text fields. Let's try. As you can see, we were able to solve that. And by the way, if the user tried to just scroll up and see the upper content, as you can see, we also have the green box here. So this approach is very, very good and I actually like it. Let's try again. Let's click here. Let's go back and everything just works. And one cool thing you can do in here is scroll or something called animate scroll to. So here you can actually animate the scrolling. We can actually define animation spec. We can just define tween in here and we can make this 300 milliseconds. If we try to launch the app again to see that animation, it will be there. So as you can see, there was a nice animation. And yeah, so this approach is very easy and useful. Okay, so that was everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, make sure to like and comment down below this video. Hope you have a great day and catch you in the next video.